And because the boot camp was free, actually, you know what? Pause this video and, and, and take a guess. Write down a guess of what boot camp you think I attended. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which one it is and we can see if you were right. I did a boot camp in 2015 here in London and it cost me nothing. Maybe you're looking to do a boot camp and that's how you've landed on this video. Well, let me tell you my experience of attending a boot camp and I hope that it helps you even in the slightest. Let me give you a bit of a backstory. I think it's important. Right, it was 2014. I was 23. I was broke, didn't have a degree, and some would say didn't have a future, right? So tough, but fortunately for me, I was a little tech savvy and I always wanted to kind of get into programming. So towards the latter half of 2014, I started researching boot camps. They were fairly new here in London and 99% of them cost around £10,000. Did I say I was broke? Yeah, so there was this one boot camp that was free, right? And I started building a plan and trying to tackle how I would actually get into this free boot camp, as that was, for me, the only way into this tech industry. So that leads me to getting into this boot camp, right? I made a plan on how I would tackle this. Now, because it was a free boot camp, there were some pretty stringent prerequisites. I had to know CSS, HTML, normally people say HTML and CSS, whatever, and JavaScript, which surprisingly I'm still learning to date. Um, but they were the prerequisites. You had to know those three things in order to even apply. So I started planning on learning these three things. And if you're looking to learning these three things, then you can check out my video that talks about the resources about how you would go about becoming a developer right now. So hopefully they help. I think I use some of those. Some of those weren't around in 2014, but others definitely were. So worth checking out. So I started learning those things. I felt pretty ready. It was December 2014. And I was like, yes, I'm ready to apply. Let's do this. Made the application and I was rejected. Actually, I've got, I've got an email here, the rejection email. Let me read you some of it. Dear Sohill, we were overwhelmed by the quality and quantity of the applications for our late application window, and your application has not been successful. Blah, 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 blah. However, oh, we like your application, and under normal circumstances, would expect somebody of your caliber to have a good chance of getting on the course. Yeah. We, we, we encourage you to apply for this May cohort. So, okay. I was disappointed in not getting in, but the, the signs are encouraging, right? They, they've looked at my application and they think, okay, try again next time. Sure, it's four months away. So I started learning again, kept on going, kept on learning, kept on doing code wars, kept on doing code camp, free code camp, um, and, and just tackling all of those things. Uh, went to a lot of meetups, held myself accountable by pairing up with other people, doing lots of exciting things like that, you know? And, and here comes May 2015, ready, made the application again, got rejected again. Oh man, that was tough to take, right? It was really tough to take. I was like, you just, you asked me to apply. What's going on? Fuck, really? It was that bad. So fortunately I had made some good uh, conversations and good connections at this particular boot camp, And the people running the boot camp said, hey, Sohil, listen, we really like you. Please apply one more time. And I was like, you said that the last time. You know, I've spent eight months of my life trying to get into this boot camp. Um, but I don't think I had any 
other alternatives, really. I mean, as you already know, a lot of the others cost, you know, £10,000. So I was like, okay, right, another four months, let me do this. So went at it again and got lucky the third time round. And I was relieved. <sighs> really. Two weeks before the boot camp, you know, I was fit and raring to go to this boot camp. I was excited. And I broke my leg. Have you been in the tube during the rush hour? Not with a broken leg, no. But I was lucky that I had some family who were a bus ride away from the, the campus. And that's the added bit of luck. Sometimes that's required right there. So for the first four weeks of the boot camp, hobbled onto the bus, got on the bus, hobbled off the bus. And that's how I started my, my journey. You're probably saying, enough, I don't want to hear about your broken leg or how lucky or unlucky you were. I want to hear about the boot camp. How was the boot camp? Well, we're here. Started the boot camp, excited, with a broken leg. The boot camp that I did at that time was eight weeks long. Yeah, can you believe that? Eight weeks. It was a peer-led course, right? So the idea was that the cohort prior to mine would be teaching us for those eight weeks, and then we would do the same for the upcoming cohort, which I thought was a great idea. We learnt Node, which was fairly new back then, React, which was very new back then. And I say learnt because it was peer-led, and this is the time in my life where I had to hone the skill of learning how to learn. Right, it, it, the space was full of intelligent people, so I was lucky that I was able to soak a lot of that in, um, but I also had to put a lot of time in. It was fun, you know, don't get me wrong, it was fun, but it was hard. A lot of us were there from 9am to 9pm, learning, working, doing all of those things for a solid eight weeks. Yeah. I don't think I understood what React, Node, callbacks were until way after finishing those eight weeks. Right? I think it was until at least the 14th, 15th, 16th week that some of those things started to settle in and sink in my brain. Because it's a free boot camp, a lot of the onus on what to do next lied on us. Right? I was fortunate that I had 16 other people in my cohort who all wanted to stick around after finishing the course. They didn't all want to just go and get a job or try and get a job. So we all went out in London trying to get some work as freelancers. You know, we went out to lots of meetings, meetups, parties, trying to earn and learn together and lying about how good we were sometimes. And making some people's dream come reality as well. All of those things, right? We hustled and bustled, uh, made a living, a little bit of a living that way. But I think those were the best times. It was a great time for us to learn and to implement a lot of the things that we had just done for the eight weeks. And it was the most incredible experience. I don't know if you can tell, but it was life-changing for me. Actually, I bet you it was life-changing for more than just me. I think it was life-changing for hundreds of people who did that particular boot camp. So here we are, six years later, it's 2021. What do I make of my experience? Right, I think you already know that I, I loved it, even though I was rejected a lot of times. I loved it. It's life-changing for me and lots of other people who attended it. You guess which one it is yet? But I think there's more to it than just me telling you that I loved it. I think there were lots of different factors which led me to where I am now. Right, there was a lot of luck involved. Luck in the sense that it was 2014 and I managed to find a boot camp which was free. You know, it's difficult to find, but I found one which fit the bill for me. Um, perseverance, because I was rejected multiple times before getting in. Right? I had to put a lot of time and effort and hard work in every single time. It was a long process. It's not a 
one of these videos where like I became a boot camp graduate and got a job in three months, boom. No, a lot of hard work, long periods of time, questions, and then I made it through on the other end. So there's a lot of hard work, perseverance, a lot of luck before and after. You know, I was lucky that I had a lot of people who wanted to stick around and, and freelance. So yeah, there's that. But also, you know, I met some of the closest people I know now during that time period. There are a lot of people that I need to thank, you know, before the course, because London is not free or cheap to live and eat in. So there's that. Sure, the course is free, but there's a lot more to do than just do the course. You know, during the course and after the course in terms of getting me the experience to, to make sure that I am where I am. So yes, it was an incredible experience. Loved every minute of it. Life-changing, met some incredible people, all of those things, you know? And if you are in this process, whether it's the first step, you're thinking about doing a bootcamp or thinking about coding and struggling, or you're in the actual bootcamp right now and struggling, or you finished and you're trying to find a job. Let me tell every single one of you that it's possible. If I did it, anyone can do it. Trust me. It is difficult at times, but you will break through. And if you have any questions about any of it, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and respond. I will most definitely respond to you. So that's it. Oh, did you guess which bootcamp it was? Founders and coders. Were you right? That's it from me. I'll see you in the next one.